to imagine that thing start leaking at some point here. fairly slow like that because uh, frankly I'm not very interested in making a huge mess all over the floor where I got to sit and work. So this might take a weekend or something. I don't know. I'll bring it back when it's drained. Finally got all the oil drained out of this thing. So now I gotta get this hydraulic hose out of the way so I can get that pump out of there. It's too much of an angle here, so I can't get an Allen wrench in there. Basically the oil in this hose should be all that comes out of here. This hose goes into the bottom of the tank higher than this other one that went here.
Oh yeah, that tells me all I need to know. <clears throat> Anybody need a seal? Well, there's about 97 other things tore apart on this workbench. We might as well make it 98. Something tells me I know why this was leaking. Perhaps because the seal wasn't in. Well, I was struggling with it, so I went and put it in the vise and got that elbow off. While I had it in there, I broke that last bolt loose. I suppose I should mark this thing. I was going to mark all three sections so I know how it goes back together. I don't put it together and have it pumping backwards or something stupid. Which is potentially what would happen if you put it together wrong. There's probably already marks on it somewhere, but now I know there's marks on it. That's why they say not a pry bar, chisel, or punch. Not real sure we're gonna get that thing to seal up anyway, but we're gonna give her a go. Lots of rust in here. These square cut o-rings are rock hard. This thing's actually pretty nice other than the rock hard seals on the front seal that was <coughs> missing. Well, not seated I should say. Oh my, these are rock hard. I 
there's a number on that seal. Maybe I can get lucky and get the number off of it and not have to order the whole kit. I can probably find these O-rings. Probably even these square cut O-rings. Separately. Let that stuff drain for a few minutes, put it in the parts washer, and I'll bring you back when it's out. Fresh out of the washer. Boy, that's weird. Must be a setup like the Alice hydraulic pump. O ring in the bottom and this hard plastic deal to push on the wear plates for the side of the pump to keep the tension on it. Interesting. Even more interesting that it's only on one side. Receivers on the back cover are definitely not as deep as the ones on the front cover. Weird. Very weird. <laughs> Parts washer actually softened up these orders. Not sure how well you can see it, but it's really not in terrible shape as far as wear, wear goes. I mean, don't get me wrong, there is some, but it's not terrible. That one's even better. Not even barely any, not enough to kick, eh, not even barely enough to catch your fingernail on. There is enough on this one. Doesn't catch good though. It's really all there is to it. Ton of bushing wear. There's a decent amount in that one. Maybe we'll see if we can't replace those. In the meantime, I think it's off to the hydraulic shop for me to go get some parts. <coughs> Shouldn't be too terribly bad. This thing doesn't look like it's in terrible shape, so. Even still, it's an old loader. It's not that big of a deal anyway. It's not like it has to work perfectly. <coughs> So I'll go source some parts, I'll come back and uh, we'll put it together.